Hello guys, welcome to Technomal and today in this video, let's learn how to take a time lapse into Nikon D3000 series. As we know that this Intel 11 Nikon cameras doesn't come with the built-in intervalometer, so oftentimes you have to buy a separate intervalometer remote to take a time lapse. But in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways how you can take a time lapse using your smartphone. So the number one step is for those who have the infrared remote functionality built into their smartphone. All you have to do is to install the application called DSLR tool into your smartphone. I will be also leaving a link in the description down below for the app. After installing then launch the application and then coming to the IR section, um, then select the model that is Nikon. You can also select the other model as well. And here you can select the interval that you wanted to shoot at. I will be using the 5 second interval. And also you can select the number of shots as per your comment. So for this shot I will enter 300 shots which should be enough for a video length up to 12 seconds. And then from the camera press the release mode button and then select the quick response remote. And then now you are pretty much done with it. For this setup your smartphone needs to be pointed towards the camera and for the 300 shot it will take more than half an hour. So I need another stand to hold my smartphone and, and for that I found a one all stand lying in my house so I'm gonna use it for support my smartphone and if you have another stand that will be helpful for you so if you do not have another stand then you can find your own creative ideas to point your smartphone towards the camera and once you are finished with the setup then frame your shot and press the start button in the application and let the application do the rest The second step is for those who does not have a IR remote functionality built into their smartphone. All you need is your USB data cable and an OTG adapter. Now connect the OTG adapter to the smartphone and the USB cable to the camera. After making the connection then install the application called DSLR remote. So here is a few things to keep in the mind. This application keeps on crashing so I would suggest you to first make all the connection and then only launch the application. But once you make the connection, the app will automatically detect the camera and then once it does, then go to the time lapse mode and select the time interval and then press the start button to get started. I did face a lot of problem with this application especially when I wanted to limit the duration. So often times I need to disconnect the camera and then I can connect it to work. So I'm not sure about this problem whether it is due to my smartphone configuration but if you do not set the limit duration then it worked perfectly fine for me. So that is it guys, if you have any other ways to do it then please uh, mention in the comment section down below, it will help me and others a lot. And I hope that these two methods will help you out there to take a beautiful time lapse. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon in my next video. And if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel then please do it for more video like this. Till then take care bye bye.